is up my lovely gang you already know what it is big name to cut and i'm back with another banger yes lord turn me up don't turn me down right now we is at walmart and i got the gang with me say what up to the camera y'all and we got my baby capri with me she's sleep right now though tt watching her for a day right now we finna go inside of this walmart and get her some clothes Strolling. he want to show her so we gonna let him show her so my baby's sleep right now she's tired she took her a little nap in the park y'all look crazy right now but y'all keep the fit for the day y'all know what it is big stepping not little stepping anyways you guys i'm gonna catch on the game good up in hood. It was hot outside. It was hot. Wasn't it, Alyssa? Look at them back there being bottled for a day. Hey, um, I need somebody to get a basket. Somebody, please. Stay right here. Can you get up? Dave's gonna be a gentleman and get a basket. What are you doing? You're supposed to be getting a basket. You're fired. This is why you would never work at Walmart. Oh. Karen. Karen. Let me move before I say something I don't need to be saying. If we get kicked out, it's going to be his fault. Literally, it's going to be his fault because he don't listen. What are y'all doing? Okay, I guess that's what he want to ride in. We going to let him ride inside the little granny car. Oh Where we finna pull up to? To the what? Ashton. <laughs> my dog broke his mirror. Where we finna pull up to? Ah! He's trying to kill me. All right, you guys, so I found this little cute fall outfit. Y'all know the fall is coming up. Hold on. I'm trying to find some more stuff, but they ain't got her size. I'm not Zay, bro, what is you doing? Mm, mm, I'm not going to pay no mind to him. But I'm trying to find some shoes for her. I can't really find any because I can't really see any. But I'm going to try to find some because, yeah, we we, we, we going to work hard around here. We going to find what we need. Okay, okay. Hey, Lynette. Vlog is a listen to cut. What you looking for her? Some socks. Some socks. Them is cute. Little tray socks. Them is cute, y'all. And they just over there. They really not even doing nothing. They just here to be here. the chicken cheese and they took her out the car seat because she was whining well they just took her out but yeah she back there wanted ashton on grab that hey tt baby hey tt baby you ain't gonna say hey to the camera oh she a little upset right now but anyways you guys we finna walk up in here and we finna see what they got going because i don't think i've been here since i was a little kid so um we finna see what the hype about with these little kids so yeah y'all i'm finna take her free to go see chuck e cheese is you ready? Is you ready, Titi baby? Y'all, when she walked up in here, she was smiling extra hard. We finna go see how she reacts to him though. Cause um, it be a lot of babies screaming and crying. I hope she don't get to screaming and crying. I'm about to calm her down. Chucky, you almost failed, Chucky. So, Chucky, you're not allowed to talk, right? Oh, oh my God. Yo, so, you look like a baby. Look at him. No, look. Look at my baby. Move. Y'all, look at my baby. Look, she look mad. Chucky look like he don't want to talk today. She look mad. Capri! What's up, bro? Capri. Chucky, are you? Hey, Chichi, baby. Oh, hey, Chichi, baby. She look mad, y'all. Let me get my baby up off this chick, this little mouse, because she look mad. Uh -huh. I don't know what these oh, yeah. are doing. Um, um, they sitting over here trying to raise oh, up yeah. Chucky. Oh, yeah. Leave him alone. Come on. I'm going to take a pretty to go play some games, because I don't know what they got going on. But my baby ready to play some games. You ready to play some games, Chichi, baby? You ready to play some games? Come on. We're going to go play some games, girl. Get up there 
to get down. I'm going to do something that move. Like that move side to side. Like that little thing right there. what I want her to do because it's a lot of grown kids game but I'm gonna try to play the race cards and see how she reacts to that because this is really like a reaction this is my first time taking to the, her to an arcade like this little touch of cheese yeah ready you ready oh, a week later since the last clip and a lot of stuff like been happening in the past week or so or in the past couple two weeks or so and i'm pretty sure everybody already know what i'm talking about but recently kingston has passed away and like i was just so hurt because everybody knew that kingston was really like I was like this with him. He went everywhere I went. I'm talking about no personal space. This boy walks everywhere I go. Like, he be literally trying to come in the bathroom when I'm trying to go to the bathroom. Like, literally. That's how clinky he is. And I feel like that was a piece of me that literally just got taken away from me. So, I wasn't, like, mentally okay to, like, really do anything. So, I just... When, it, when everything happened, I seen everything happen. Like, y'all don't understand, like, how everything happened. It was just, like yeah but i'm gonna tell y'all what happened Ba boom so i'm coming out the house or whatever and you know him being him him always wanted to be under me he's going to sit there and he's going to follow me out the door at first i was like nah 
y'all need to let him in the house like you know type of so i'm like y'all no y'all need to let him house but he but he coming after me anyway so i was like okay never mind he probably need to use the bathroom and he always comes out in the front of me he always comes out in front of me but kingston he the type of dog he don't like wearing the leash like he's going to take it off and I don't like putting him through that type of pain like where he has to sit there and try to take the, the whole thing off and it look like he's choking and smoking. So I just don't ever use leash on him because even when I take him on walks, when I take him on walks, he don't go in the street. He stays on the sidewalk. But yeah, so I was sitting there and then I'm coming over here in the front and I'm going out to... I'm going out to my car. So I'm going to my car and I turn around for two seconds. I see Kingston in the street. I said, Kingston, come here. Kingston, come here. So he started walking towards me and this car, he was driving fast. So he was driving fast and he hit him. Like I, I, I like Kinsey was walking towards me and he hit him. Like he was driving fast through the neighborhood at nighttime and he hit him. Like everybody know you are not supposed to drive fast in a neighborhood at nighttime. You never know what's jumping in the ro road. It could, that could have been a person. I could have been standing in the middle of the street and he could have hit me. Why? Because he was he was on his phone. So that gives everybody a learned lesson. Don't be on your phone while you're driving. Because like, I swear to God, y'all, as soon as he hit him, he hit him. And I'm just, I was like, Kingston, no. And then he hit him. And then he stopped. And then he hit him again. And I was like, excuse my language. But I was like, what in the fuck? I, that's exactly what I said. I said, what in the fuck? Like, Kingston, like, I'm screaming at the top of my lungs. Because instead of him just staying there, he hit him again and drove all the way down the street. All the way down the street. And I was pissed off. I ran down the street and I started banging on this dude's window. Open this window. Open this window. Like, I was sitting there, like, with Boy being on this dude's window because he seen her on his phone. He was seeing her on his phone. And then he rolled down the window. What happened? What happened? You just hit my dog. What you mean? What happened? You just hit my dog. Like, are you serious right now? You just hit my dog. So then he sitting there. Oh, oh my god like I, but it was this um he was an older african male and yeah he was like he was like oh my god oh my god and then he was like i didn't mean to do it i didn't mean to do it i was just like what you mean i said what what, what speed limit was you going like what's your speed limit dude was going over 30 I, i'm i'm pretty sure it looked like it because he was driving fast in a dark neighborhood though like at least go like 15 10 you never know what's gonna come out in the street. That could have been a little kid you just ran over twice. The kid would probably will survive, but Kingston didn't. And the only reason why I'm not crying right now is because I've been crying all week about it. Like, they, the hospital, after he got here, I took him to the hospital. And I was freaking out the whole way. Like, I'm driving, I'm driving, I'm blaming everything on me. I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, I should have left him in the house because that was my first intention in the first place was to leave him in the house. I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, why is God taking everything from me? Like, literally, God is taking everything from me piece by piece. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, piece by piece. So I'm just like, dang, bruh. That was the closest thing to me. Like, that's literally the only thing I feel like I got. That's the only thing I had left. So I'm mad. Like, I'm just mad because why did you have to take that from me? That hurt. That really did hurt me. So I took him to the hospital. And after I took him to the hospital, they sat there and they took him to the back. I'm freaking out some more. I'm on the phone trying to call my daddy. Uh, he, he's sitting there not answering the phone. He was sitting there like, as soon as... As soon as I sat there and called my daddy, when we was finna go there, like, my daddy was like, he's already dead and da, da, da. And I was like, no, stop saying that. And I hung up. And then when I got there, I'm calling him because I told him, you know, if I call the ambulance, I'm still going to have to pay. Like, you going to pay for him if I go in the hospital? And then that's when I hung up on him. I'm calling him because I'm, okay, cool. Like, just ask him, was he going to pay for me to put him in the hospital? So I'm calling him, calling him, calling him, calling him. He not answering the phone. So I'm like, okay. Like, I'm mad. I'm already mad, so I'm, like, getting irritated some more. So then, that's just whenever they came in the room. And they told me, they was like, I'm sorry, but when we already went back there, he was already pronounced dead before making it here. And I just broke down crying. Like, I broke down crying. I broke down crying. And they gave me the papers. They was like, you could choose to cremate him, y'all could keep the body, or we could dispose it. First of all, me giving him y'all body so y'all can dispose it is gonna make me feel some type of way because i'm like dang like I, if i'm crying and then i'm just gonna let him get dumped like no that's literally a piece of me like come on now i don't want him getting dumped then 
what am I gonna do with a dead dog? I didn't want the dog. I didn't want his dead body back. Like his actual body, I didn't want it back. Like what was I gonna do with a dead dog? Then they asked me, did I want him cremated? Y'all, that was like the hardest de decision ever. Like it wasn't the hardest decision because I already knew what I wanted to do. But when I was signing the papers, I was just crying because I'm like, bro, I can't believe I'm doing this. And it really, really, really hit me when we was finna go. Um, Before we had left, they gave us this paper. And it was a paper saying, um, it was a paper basically saying that, like, giving me options to choose which little vase I want his, um, ashes to be in, in the box. That is what really hit me, like, everybody kept asking me, and I'm just looking at it, and I'm like, I don't know what to do, like, I don't know what to do, like, I'm confused. And they pick, pick where you want his ashes to be in, that's all I hear, pick where you want his ashes to be in. And I'm just sitting there froze, like, I'm just looking at the paper froze, and I just started crying again. I'm crying again. I'm like, bro, I cannot believe that I'm actually finna pick out. I was like, I'm sh I shouldn't have to do this. I shouldn't have to do this. I shouldn't have to be sitting here picking out his vase for ashes. He should be here. That's exactly what I said. He should be here. He should be here, bro. Like, oh my God, it's hitting me now. It's hitting me now because I'm just repeating the story. It's hitting me now. Like, bro, he should be here. He should be sitting right here. We, we wouldn't even be doing this video. We'll probably be doing another video. And he gonna be sitting right here in his passenger seat. He gonna be sitting right here trying to get in my lap while I'm driving. Because that's what he always do. <sighs> I'm sorry, y'all. But, yeah, that hurt me really, really bad. Like, I could not stop crying. The next day at school, I, I kept having I kept having flashes of, like, I kept having flashes of me watching him get hit because I actually watched it. I had a mental breakdown yesterday just thinking about it not even gonna lie to y'all i had a whole mental breakdown just crying about it and it was really like messing up my head real bad like really really bad to the point where i didn't even want to like be around people i wanted to just be isolated and just i didn't even want to do anything as y'all can see i haven't really been posting any youtube videos since kingston has died but um i'm gonna try to stay strong for him um they texted me told me to go pick up his ashes yesterday i still haven't went to go pick him up because me personally i don't feel like i'm ready to go pick him up like if i go pick him up i i'm not gonna be okay like i'm really not gonna be okay like i'm not gonna be okay for a long time because i have my i have my dead dog's ashes and he shouldn't even be dead he should be alive and that was literally like my bestie like everybody around me know that was like my son like come on now kingston has a whole stroller he said what what dog you know got a stroller like come on now he got a whole stroller he got everything he want he got a big old fluffy bed he got everything literally and it's crazy because i was finna order him this um this little what's gonna call it it's like a bed but he got like a frame like it's like a regular bed but it's like for dogs and i was finna order him one and then two days like uh, two days later he also had a doctor's appointment so yeah i've just been going through it but i'm trying to trying to like put my mind to rest like i need to get back to money mode i need to get back to my regular mindset back to my strong me because i can't let this slow me down it's just another loss i have to take unfortunately but i'm gonna be okay i'm gonna be okay now me personally right now as of right now i don't want another dog like i mean if i was to like get a new place i, I don't want a new dog like i'm just it's just gonna be me to be honest now i don't know if i might change my mind but i'm telling y'all as of right now I, I can't do it like i can't i don't want that happening to me again so i'm gonna just take a break from that like i'm gonna just be by myself per usual per usual i'm always by myself but it really don't matter i got y'all of course i love every single one of y'all um i'm very thankful for everybody who watches me who subscribes who likes who does everything like y'all show love on every single platform i just love it i just love it so much like me making content for y'all and y'all watching me and y'all like getting my engagement up like i love y'all for that because y'all are giving me y'all giving me opportunities like y'all are really giving me opportunities and i really love it like i never ever in my life thought it would have to come to a point where i'm like doing this like i never dreamed of this i used to watch youtube now i'm doing youtube <laughs> like what like y'all that is crazy 
and it's going up so fast y'all we almost at 100k on youtube 100k subscribers 100,000 subscribers that means i have 100,000 family members like i have 100,000 people and lovely gang like imagine a hundred thousand people in my house y'all wouldn't even fit in my house like be for real y'all would probably take up my whole street not even gonna lie probably the whole block anyways you guys r.i.p to kingston bro like for real for real that that was literally like that was like my best friend bro not even gonna lie to you like that was that was my dog like, it feels weird without him to be honest with y'all like it feels really weird not to have nobody trying to jump in my lap while i'm trying to draw a little body like but it's okay make sure you like comment and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos because i do have more videos coming i do lovely gang all day every day we gonna turn up i'm gonna try to draw back to back for y'all but hey y'all make sure you like comment and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos on game